Do you guys believe once a cheater, always a cheater? Hello, everybody. Welcome back to our channel. It's a brand new day. So it's a brand new video. We got a Q and A for you guys today. We got a lot of questions, and we've got a lot of answers. <laughs> But first, we are gonna get some dinner. We're gonna get some HSP. Yes. So we're gonna take I'm you with hungry. us. Okay, bye. Does that look? Amazing. So, anyway, we'll get started. On our Instagrams, we asked you guys to send us some questions mm -hmm. for our Q&A for us to answer. We got sent quite a few. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to answer them all, mm -hmm. but we will try to answer them and maybe we'll save some for another Q&A. Absolutely. We don't want this to get too long. <laughs> I'm gonna literally put the exact screenshot, so <laughs> I'll just read what it says. Mm -hmm. What is it like growing up in a curry household? These are some good questions. Interesting. Mm -hmm. We'll both answer them? Yeah, you go okay. first. Very loud conversations on the phone. Parents mm -hmm. always thinking that the other person on the other side of the line can't necessarily hear them, so they That's speak so at a very loud level of <laughs> volume. It's like they're speaking to that country. Yeah. <laughs> Can you hear me? <laughs> Oh my god, that's so true. Curfews. Mm. All the time. It's like, oh, it's 8 o'clock, it's home time, it's dark, it's late. Or, especially girls. I don't know if it's mm. like, I don't know if it's a girl thing. South Asian. I think it goes away for guys as we get older. Thing. If you're a girl, and you're South Asian, <sighs> you know the feeling, okay? <laughs> I know how you feel. But it happens to guys as well. Like, I mm. feel like it's just a stereotypical yeah. thing. That it happened think. to me in my high school days. Yeah. Also, like, oh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> started off being a curfew of 10 p.m. And as I got closer to finishing off high school, it became midnight. And then uni began. Mm. And there was no curfew. Yeah, I mean, I still have a curfew. Um, what else? Strict parents, mm. I feel. Education, that's a big thing. It's just, education's always the priority. Absolutely. Which, you know, it should be our priority, for mm. sure. Um, what else? This could be a whole separate video, I feel like. We could write a book on this. And we will definitely touch on more things about mm. this aspect. Okay. Yeah. I'm just cautious of how many questions we have to mm. get through. So we'll keep going. If you hear a child in the background, we just have someone over, I guess, and they're just like on the other side of the house, but you might still hear it. So if you're wondering, that's why. When do you think a person is ready for marriage? Mm -hmm. Do you want me to go first? I feel like, personal opinions. If you're ready in yourself mm -hmm. and where you're at in life to get married, but also who your partner is. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like that's a huge thing. That's a good deal. You could be like super ready. To get married, you should be like, yeah. But if you're not with the right partner, then I wouldn't think you're ready for marriage. Mm. I don't know. That's my personal opinion. I feel that when you're with someone for a period of time and you just feel that the time is right, it's just one of those things that you know of when you're in the moment. Only you will know the answer. Mm. Do you guys get pressure from your parents about moving forward? Mm. I'd say no. No. Yeah, no. Maybe because um, we both have older siblings, They're literally the same age. They're 28 years old. Mm -hmm. And so it's more of an ex not an expectation, <laughs> but they sort of see them getting married first and then us. Yeah. And because your sister got married recently, <clears throat> yeah. it wasn't really a thought in their minds for sort of you to like get married now, mm. if that makes sense. I think it makes sense. Mm. Yeah. Next question. Where are you both from? I'm from Sri Lanka. I'm from South Africa. Yes. I was born in Sri Lanka and I moved to New Zealand when I was three years old. And then I stayed in New Zealand for 10 years and then I moved 
here, here meaning Australia, um, like nine years ago. So that would mm. make me 22-ish. I was born in South Africa, came to Australia when I was 11 turning 12, and been here ever since. Next question. What was the last thing you searched on your phone? It was the kebab place because I needed to call Same. them. Same. <laughs> call them and make an order. I literally searched up kebabs near me. Yeah. Next one. What is your biggest pet peeve? Do you want me to go first? Because mm. I have one. Rude people. I just think like... Same. Karens. Apologies to any Karens out there who aren't Karens and are watching this. Not you guys. But like, you know, the... Just mm. the people who like belittle other people mm. or just are, are rude, racist or yeah. sexist or think that they're like better than people. Because Terrible people. Like that just drives me up the wall, to mm. be honest. That's, like That's my probably one of my pet peeves as well. Biggest pet peeve. Okay, next question. How old are you both? I'm 22. 25. I'm turning 23 in July. That's true. Coming up soon. What do you study at in school? That's a cute question. That's cute. We don't go to school. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> He's graduated and I'm in uni. Long time. Ago. My third year of uni. Ah, but we should say what we study. Oh, yes. Uni. Well, I said this before mm -hmm. in the Who's Most Likely To video. Yeah. But I'm studying to become a teacher. And I'm an engineer. A school teacher. What do you guys do in your free time? It depends if I'm like in uni or not when i have my semester breaks or anything like we do a lot more mm. but obviously when i'm in uni i'm either doing placements where i go to a primary school <clears throat> and teach different grades or you know i'm in class and whatnot mm. but we like hiking and kickboxing yeah um, we like watching movies going to Krispy cream mm. yeah we do a lot together make youtube videos of course oh rock climbing yeah rock climbing we do a bit of painting here and there. Yes, I love painting. We go to dinners a mm. lot. Oh, we like to play chess and play the piano. Oh. Together. Yes. That's something we've been Half doing. I forget. Yeah, since yeah. Li like we started dating. Because I love chess. Mm. I've she loves chess. I've played ever since I was She's little. very good. He's gotten a lot better now, too. <laughs> <laughs> Improving day by day. Yeah, yeah, so he teaches me piano. He's really good at piano. Yeah. Maybe we should record you playing. <laughs> Be nice. What's the biggest thing you've learned being in a relationship? Being in a relationship? Like any relationship or this relationship? I'll just say this relationship. Yeah, we'll go with this relationship. <laughs> this is so deep. <laughs> like in my head, I thought people were gonna like yeah. ask questions like, you know, <laughs> where are you from? How old are you? Yeah. You know, what do you want to do when you're mm. older? But I like these questions. They're, They're good. good questions. I just feel like I need to think a little bit. I just have so many, I don't know what Yeah, there's pick. heaps. There's a lot of things we've learned. Okay, I would say love languages. Oh, absolutely. That's yeah. a big one. Yeah, find out how they feel loved and give them that form of love. Yeah. Because, you know, I could be like, I give you this, this, this and this, or I do this, this and this, but if that's not the way that he feels loved, he's not gonna receive that love the way I want to give it to him. Same goes vice versa. So that's something. Yeah. That's a big thing. What's your one? Communication. I feel like that's yeah. probably one of the most important things I've learned in our relationship. Mm. Always expressing how you feel. Just always communicating. Mm -hmm. Definitely. But on the receiving end, if someone is communicating their feelings to you, Sort of like validating that they feel that way and not sort of like dismissing them and saying, Oh, but this, this, this. Yeah. This is turning this is turning into like a relationship Q and A yeah. <laughs> like advice video or something. That's not what we yeah. wanted to do them do. So it's making sure that they feel like they can talk yeah. to you. Absolutely. Anyway, expression. Where would be your ideal place to live? Let's just say fantasy place to live oh i thought it like realistically we'll go with realistically i was gonna just say melbourne i choose here yeah melbourne. australia or canada Not alaska canada. <laughs> what <laughs> are we going to alaska <laughs> how do we decide where to eat that's a very important one yeah, yeah. a lot of um people find it difficult yeah people struggle i don't think we really witnessed that because i sort of just always 
know what I want to eat. Same. Like even today, we literally, I just walked into the door and I just asked her, do you want to get an HSP? And she's like, yeah. yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we've ever found it hard to decide what to eat. Yeah. For dinner or, or like whenever. So that's good. Exactly. How long have we been together? So I don't know when, <laughs> when this person will see this video. That's true. But we got together <laughs> yeah. on the 30th of January, 2021. So, so from that date to the, date is. the current date of when you're watching this video. That's the date we made it like official. Yes. But we actually were like seeing each other and together. Mm. September, October 2020. 2020. So that's quite a long time that we were like yeah. dating and together for. That's right. Then we were like, okay, we'll make a date official anyway. We you can watch the How We Met video. <laughs> Do you guys believe once a cheater, always a cheater? Yeah. Really? I'm gonna go with yes. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's so sad. I don't know. That's hard. Like, I want to believe that someone can develop and grow and learn from their past. Yeah. We've never cheated on anybody. Yeah, I would hope that someone can learn from that if they did it. How do you work on trust? How do you work on it? Communication. Communication is probably the biggest one. Yeah. Having integrity. Mm. If you're gonna say you're gonna do something, actually do it. Yeah. Dedication. Yeah. And as long as both partners are committed to growing and continuing to put effort into the relationship, I feel like that also builds trust. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like there's a lot for that question. Let us know in the comments below. Yeah. <laughs> Throw the question back at them and <laughs> tell them to answer it. Have either of you lied to avoid hurting the others? person's feelings about something. Nothing comes to mind. I don't yeah, think so. Yeah, I can't think of anything. The biggest like lie that I've told you <laughs> was about your like surprise yeah, birthday. Yeah, I thing. remember. We'll do one more question. All right. Because we can't do all of them. Final question. What is one thing on our bucket list? Mm, I didn't know we had a bucket list. <laughs> For me, I would say riding on a hot air balloon. That's definitely something that I really want to do with you. Really? Yeah. Owning a dog together? Yes. My sister recently got a puppy. I know. So, so adorable. that's the experience that we're gaining yeah, for our future we're learning. puppy. We're learning. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that would be one thing out yeah. of many. That is all the questions that we're going to answer right now. Hopefully, later on, we <laughs> will do another one of these yeah. Q&As. We loved reading your questions. So thank you so much if you have thank sent you, one in. We appreciate you so, so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to smash the subscribe <laughs> button. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below for more Q&As. Mm -hmm. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Shahan and Razi, signing, signing out. out. Bye.